High traders S&P 500 lost 0.3% last week, only a minor pullback after a 2% crash on Wednesday. The Wednesday Trump-Russian incident reminds us that the last 15% hike is mainly due to Trump tax cut and deregulation promises. Last week we saw how fast the market reacts to Trump related rumors, but we have also seen how fast the market recovered in the following two days. The market loves Trump, therefore the uptrend is very likely to continue. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500 daily, I can see that we bounced from the highs. Just a reminder, the high is a very, very strong resistance point, And we did see the proof of that last week. So we did bounce slower, but it does still looks like a great breakout formation if we're going to come back. And it looks like we will test it once more. So right now, it's very hard to know whether the market is going to move up or down this week. But we are still consolidating just below the highs and the uptrend is very very likely to continue. Let's take a look at last week's picks. My first pick last week was Visa Long. It did trigger. It is down 0.5%. However, it looks great for some more continuation move. It did bounce with the market. The market moved down too. So I believe Visa with a very small minor pullback from the highs is very likely to continue higher. My second pick last week was LB and a very interesting thing happened in LB because it did move down, it did reach the 3% target. However, the last quarter size gapped up dramatically. The way you're supposed to be handling this, and I did receive some emails from some of you traders, is you look for the first 30 minute reversal, meaning you have your stop over the 30 minute highs, highs. you do not move out of the last quarter and you hope that the last quarter will come down as it it did happen. So the way to handle a gap up is not getting out of the last quarter. By the way, if you took the 3% partial, then you are okay with the trade even if you moved out with the last quarter. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Starbucks long. Starbucks is uptrending, a very strong upside move on Friday. And if there will be continuation, I believe Starbucks will continue. So whole number breakout over $62, Starbucks fall long. My second pick for the week is Excel Short, a biopharmaceutical company from San Francisco. It looks great under $19.15. Now, there's a very nice breakdown formation. And if you take a look at Friday, you can see that it's tried to move higher, failed, came back to the support line. So if the support line at 1950 is going to break, I think Excel is going to continue moving lower. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Traders, I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this video. So let's have a discussion in the comments below. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. And if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click right over here in order to learn more about my funded accounts program.